All right, let's install PhoneGap, shall we? Um, first, before you really can even get to that point, you need to make sure that you have the iPhone SDK installed. And you can get that at developer.apple.com and register as an iPhone developer and go through that process. Eventually, it'll let you download the SDK. You also need to make sure you have Git installed, which is a command line tool that you can uh, you can find out if you have Git installed by launching the terminal application, typing man git, and if you see this instruction page come up, it means that you do have Git installed. You can hit Q to get out of that. And if you don't see that instruction page, you need to install Git. You can install Git by visiting help.github.com and let's see where are you click on installing git over in the right sidebar there and I used this uh, git osx installer which just uh, downloads to your download folder and then gives you a double click installer it's really easy it takes two seconds alright so once you have the developer tools and git installed you can go to the PhoneGap website go to download and completely ignore this stuff um, Sure, the Toby guys have some reason for having this up here, but you can't really directly download anything, uh, the latest version of PhoneGap from here. So just ignore that and go straight to the Git repo. It takes you to this page, and we're going to scroll down to this information. It's getting started information. I'm going to copy that instruction there. Back to the terminal. I'm going to move to the desktop and then paste that in there and hit enter and you can see that downloading in the background doesn't take too long now we're gonna go to get the sub modules the uh, the root phone gap install doesn't have any information in any of these directories it's just a skeleton so now we have to get the sub modules first step is to navigate to the phone gap folder like so. Let's see what's in there. And I want to get submodules in it. That was quick. Now we're going to get submodule update. This takes a little bit longer, but it's pretty quick. Alright, great. Now, if we go this is not obvious. If we go into the um, iPhone directory, and look around in there, there's this make file. So what you want to do next is type make. Now that make command will not work if you don't have Xcode or the developer tools installed. So if you get an error right there, then you probably, that's probably the problem. Uh, notice that I get these two warnings here. Those are not an issue. You can ignore those. Um, okay, the next step is to list this directory. You see this phonegap lib installer dot pkg? We want to run, run that installer by typing open. Phone gap lib installer, and that's just going to launch the regular installer. Continue, continue. You need to actually click on this to activate the continue button and install. And boom, you are done.